Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a guy right there now, too. Oh, she's still here. Still there. Shiny. It's a good idea to polish it at home before bringing it. Oh, okay, it makes it more difficult. Whole system. It looks like dentistry tooling. Oh, no, it's a scribe. <laughs> it just looks like yeah. a tooth scraper. <laughs> Ooh, can you imagine? <laughs> Ready to be elevated. <laughs> yes, I see what you did. <laughs> this is problematic. It was a great idea at the time, perhaps. Is it not lining up? <clears throat> yeah. Put that in there. Yeah. That'll come up nicely. Okay. Now we just gotta do the top now. Winning. Winning. Collected. Oh, you found it? Come on. There we go. That was easy, wasn't it? Absolutely. We can let go of that now, Sam.
So what I need to do is I need to rig this first. So that means, Sam, did you hold the elevator like that? And then we'll just make that neutral and the bolt should line up. because it's got to move with the trim tab a little bit where the trim's locked up I'll just put that other bolt in the other side so then the rudder's got control but that's it now I'll have to get a longer bolt for that that's annoying that's all right next trip down what are you doing I'm putting a stripe on the nut and the bolt to um, make sure that that it hasn't moved mm -hmm. or come undone. There's a special tool stripe that you can get, but I don't have that. Well, let's hope that doesn't have to come off for a very long time. Let's hope so. Because that would be painful, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, they're all on. Rudder and elevators are connected and locked in. Um, they're big, eh? I, um, I wanted good authority and control at low speeds. I reckon I'll get that with these. Yeah. All right, just a quick rundown on how it's all attached. So the elevators are attached by a hinge, sort of like your Cessna aileron in places. The, the, the pin goes all the way along and locks off in here, so it can't come out. And uh, that's what I had a little hassle with. The other one lined up quite nicely, but for some reason that one, that one fought a little bit. And then um, the elevator control, the bolt's the wrong way, yes I know. I deliberately did that because I wanted the extra clearance between the control horn there and the fuselage. So um, the nut had to be on the outside. And again, you can sort of, I don't know if you can see that there's a washer either side of the bearing just to lock it all in. So the bolt doesn't spin and it's all working on the bearing itself. There's the um, rudder trim, uh, elevator trim. That set up and the cable flexes with the elevator, so that works well. Um, lower hinge for the rudder is in there. I just move that a little bit like that. There he is, down the bottom there. The rudder bolts, I've, for some reason I've got the wrong bolts. They're too short, so I need to, um, I just need to come back next time with a longer bolt and then that'll lock up and that work well. But yeah, that's how I move work the rudder um, the upper hinge same thing so little washer either side of the bearing and just to lock it all in place um, yeah 
same on the other side, basically. It was a lot of extra work to make the tile plane, the, the elevators and rudder curved instead of straight. But boy, I think it was worth it. Yeah, totally worth it. All right, I really, really, really need to start making wings now. Well, I've made them, I just gotta fit them. Get those fuel tanks done, that's the next thing. So one wing there, the other one goes out that way. That'd be cool. Really can't muck about anymore. So that's my next thing I need to do. Yeah, all right. Until then, we'll see you on the next one, hey? So when we were traveling, the cables loosened? Yeah, I hadn't had them tidy properly, they were just there. Yeah. And um, the little lock might fall on down. Show me. That one. Nice. So that goes. Was there only the one? Yep. Good news. Yeah. Okay. I thought you dropped it again. No, no. Here you go, sugar hit again. <laughs> well, maybe a cup of tea, you'll have to cut it. Okay. With sugar. <laughs> yes, darling, with sugar. I could make all sorts of jokes about dex dexterity right now. Yep. Yeah, but I won't. This is going on YouTube, right? Yes, <laughs> you matter of holding your tongue, right? <laughs> Come on, you little sucker. You want to go on your home? Go on your home. <laughs> Come on. Why is it left hand thread? Well, because when you screw this, it um, pulls the two together. Ah, uh, radio. Yeah. Because this is the. require special tooling to bring down next time? Uh, yeah, I'll have to see if I can get a tensiometer just to get the same tension on each cable. Yeah. And then, um, then we can knock it off. Do you it know? It might be a high tension, it'll be like 40 pounds or something. Do you know somebody who has one? I do. Okay, great. So it's that, and then we can, then I'll lock wire those two together so they don't rattle loose. Mm-hmm. And that's that. Awesome. Okay.